So here's one of the most common challenges I face with WordPress search. On my website right now, you can see I've created a new custom post type called listings. And I've created a new listing on the site as well called Miami Beach. But if I go to the front end of my website and search for Miami, the custom post type doesn't show up. And that's because WordPress search is great for searching in posts and pages, but it doesn't go do a very good job when it comes to searching for anything else, namely custom posts or even uh, custom fields or e-commerce taxonomies or all the other edge cases which might be useful to any kind of website. And as you can probably guess, search is a critical element for all kinds of listing websites real estate listing websites, e-commerce websites, and tons of other websites where search alone can make or break the entire business. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix your WordPress search and include custom post types in WordPress search. And I'm also gonna to show you some additional tips on how you can superpower your WordPress search to search for all the interesting data on your website and improve your WordPress experience for yourself and for users as well. All right, let's go. So to improve the search experience on a website, we'll be using a plugin. And the plugin I'll be recommending to you is called Search WP. The website is searchwp.com. I'll also leave a link down in the description of this video, just below the like button. You know what to do. And let me just give you a brief idea of what this plugin can do. You can see in the homepage itself, Search WP can search for custom fields. That means data inside custom fields and also custom post types. For e-commerce, you can search for metadata inside WooCommerce, BigCommerce, and easy digital downloads. That means attributes, taxonomies document content as well that means document content inside doc files and pdf files image data and titles that means great for photographers who want to make their content searchable based on exif data or any kind of metadata inside their images also custom tables so if you have a custom functionality built in you can have that index or that content index using the search wp and also taxonomies and short codes that means you can search for or have search include any kind of custom taxonomy you create for e-commerce websites and also content inside shortcode, which is not possible in any other way. So Search WP can really superpower or supercharge your search experience on your website. But let me give you a quick demonstration how you can include custom post types and the rest of the functionality is something that you can explore on your own. But I have to clarify that Search WP is not a free plugin. It's a paid plugin. So go to the pricing options, make sure that it actually fits your needs. And of course, with the functionality that I explained, if you have any kind of website that fits any of these needs, you will definitely make more money uh, or make your money back very easily if you have any kind of website or e-commerce website, listing website, right? So I already have the plugin downloaded and installed, but if you, let's say, make a decision, you purchase the plugin, you can go into your account by after making your payment and you'll download the plugin file and your license key, right? So once you've done that, you can follow along the tutorial, which I'm gonna start right now. So I'm inside the admin area once again of my website and let's install search WP first and I'll teach you how to configure it and also show you some additional functionality that you can configure in the plugin yourself. So go to plugins in section in your website, plugins, install plugins, I'll go to add new and inside add new, I'll actually upload the zip file because I've downloaded the plugin file from the website directly. So I have the plugin right here. I'll just upload it right now, install it. The plugin is now installed, let's activate the plugin. So Search WP is now installed. I'll dismiss this notice for now. I'll explain what it means. First, we have to activate our license to start utilizing the plugin on the site. So I'll go to the license section right here. I'll leave this segment. And here I'll paste my license key. So I'll pause the video for a second. I'll paste in my license key one second. And as you can see, Search WP is now activated on my website. So I can start utilizing the power of Search WP to a super part of the search on my website, right? So once this is done, if you're following the tutorial, once this is done, we head to the engine section on the site. So inside the engine section, we actually configure what kind of content does Search WP actually start indexing on your site. So right now you can see the default section or default engine has been created and it includes posts, it includes pages, it includes media, and it also includes listings by default because Search WP automatically detected that this is a custom post type already created. So now it's already done right now. But let's say you installed Search WP first and then you created a custom post type. How do you configure this? You would go to the source and settings right here. So you would click this button right here and you'll see all the post types on your site. So for example, let's say I disable the listing section. I click done and listings will disappear. I'll go back here. I'll add the listings here. I'll click done and this option will appear once again. So now what this means is that the post pages, media, and the listings on my site are being indexed by Search WP, right? And you have some interesting options here to configure. We have applicable attribute relevance. So you can configure what part of the uh, content actually holds more weightage when it comes to search. So as you can see for custom post type listings, we have the title taking the maximum weightage, then comes the content which has the minimum weightage, 
then comes the slug, which is again maximum, and then comes the excerpt, which is again the maximum. Now, let's say if this is a real estate listing website, I'd say the content is very, very useful. So I would turn that up to maximum, and I turn down the slug to minimum, and also the excerpt to a minimum. So right now, if anybody searches for my, uh, com comes to my website, let's say a real estate web listing website, and searches for condo, or searches for thousand square feet, then all that content, which is inside the uh, custom post types will be given highest weightage when it comes to search. So this is the power of search WP. You can not only just include content, but also make fine tune adjustments to what content should be prioritized. And you also have the option of adding and removing attributes, which is again, even more customization abilities given to you for search. So once this is done, once you've configured this, what you need to do, this is a critical step. You have to save your engines. This is the first step you'll do after you've configured all the options inside search WP. And what this will ensure is that search WP actually starts indexing the content on your site. So once you're done, click the save engines button and it'll start indexing the content on your site. And now if you make any changes to any of these parameters right here, you see the index being built up, then the index will need to be rebuilt. And depending on how big your website, it might take a few minutes or it might take a few seconds of your time. And you also have the option of rebuilding the index if you're making a lot of changes on your site. So let's say if I change this to medium, I can actually save my changes and the index will be rebuilt. I'll just go back to the old setting right now, and this will be disabled. And once you've done this, once the index is being built, you can go back to your site and start searching for your, uh, or start searching and see if custom post types actually start showing up. So let's go do that now. So once again, I'm on the front end of my website. Let's search for Miami and see what the search results actually show us this time. I'll click right here, type in, oops, M-I-A, M-I, Miami. And of course, Miami Beach now shows up right here in the search results because of the power of search WP. Let's go back for a second and let's explore all the, all the additional options that you have to uh, configure search WP in a more advanced way. So if I go to the advanced section right here, you have some interesting options here. So first is fuzzy searches. So let's say if you go to Amazon, sometimes you type in something uh, messed up and the spelling is not correct. Amazon still shows you the great results. Same for Google. And that is the help of or that uh, that functionality is enabled by fuzzy searching. So you can use this. You can also include automatically the, or did you mean corrections similar to how you search on Google search. If you make a mistake and Google tries to guess what you're actually trying to search for. You also have quoted and phrase searches. That means if you put something in quotes, the entire thing will be searched, not the separate keywords. And you have tokenized and also bunch of different advanced options using which you can completely customize the search behavior. And this will give you a lot of I'd say complete control over how the search experience turns out. And from this, you can probably understand the search WP not only can work by just plug and play, as I just showed you, just configure and basic functionality setup, but the power of search WP is in its customizability. So if you have a website that depends on search or search can be a huge part of how your products have been discovered, then definitely it's very, very useful. And if you go to settings right here, there's also a bunch of other additional options. So we have options to configure stop words. So all these stop words are pre-configured for you and these will not uh, be part of the search and you can also configure synonyms on the site. So let's say you have a bunch of products that are, a lot of people use synonyms, for example, a mobile case and mobile cover, they are interchangeable. So you can configure also all, all sorts of cinnamon, uh, not cinnamon, synonym data on your website. And then you can take the experience of search even further with the power of search. And of course, as I mentioned, search WP is not limited to just custom post types. I definitely already showed you custom fields, e-commerce taxonomies, uh, content inside short codes or content inside taxonomies, tons of data can be indexed and utilized by Search WP to enhance the experience of your visitors on your website. And that's the easiest way how you include custom post types in your search and also superpower your search with Search WP. I'll also put up some additional videos on the screen that you can watch after this video. And of course, if you're interested in easy to follow along WordPress tutorials, then don't forget to subscribe to WP Beginner. I'll catch you in the next video.